I'm here now with Governor Chris Christie. The Republican star is riding high in New Jersey after his passionate and forceful response to Hurricane Sandy. And in a State of the State address yesterday, he laid down a challenge to the politicians in Washington. We have established a governing model for America that shows that even with heartfelt beliefs, bipartisan compromise is possible. Maybe the folks in Washington and both parties could learn something from our record here in New Jersey. And Governor Chris Christie joins us now. You know, that comes on top of last week's press conference where you were very tough on the House Speaker John Boehner on the issue of Sandy Aid, and you took on what you call the toxic internal politics of House Republicans. What specifically do you want your party in Washington to learn? Well, I mean, first off, that something like Sandy is and was above politics. I mean, there's certain things, George, that happen in our lives that have to be above politics that both parties should try to rise above, as hard as that is for them sometimes. And so what I'd like them to learn is to listen. Listen to the people in my state. Listen to the people in the state of New York. They're suffering. They're hurting. And they don't understand why they've had to wait seven times longer than the victims of Katrina to get any aid from the Most federal government. The aid is still being held up. You think it's going to get through? Well, I do. I mean, I met with the congressional delegation yesterday. I'm hopeful. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's never done till it's done. You know that. You've been in that town. It's never done till it's done. But I'm going to continue to keep the pressure you say on. You you want Washington to listen. Now, you have a lot in your party, many members of your party now, as the country continues to face this budget crisis coming up, the possibility of default in late February or March, you say maybe the country should go into default, even a partial government shutdown. Is that uh, smart politics? Or are they playing with fire? Well, I think, listen, you have to use every bit of leverage you have to be able to negotiate. But ultimately, what people want you to do is get things done even and move the ball down the field. Into default? George, what I think you have to do is you, know, you have all kinds of tools available to you when you sit down at a negotiating table. The fact of the matter is, everybody has to come to the table though, wanting to come to an agreement ultimately. And that's what we've been doing in New Jersey for the last three years. I have a Democratic legislature. We don't always agree on everything, and we'll say some things publicly sometimes that we have to back away from a little bit. But the reason we can do that is because we have trusting relationships with the leaders of the Democrats in the legislature. And when we sit down at the table, they know if I tell them I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And if I tell them I won't, I won't. And they know that I want to come to an agreement with them because that's my job. One of your potential opponents for governor next year, in this year, criticized your failure yesterday in the state of the state message to take on the issue of gun control. You've called for a national conversation. Why not talk about it yesterday? Well, you know, George, you pick things you want to talk about in a, in a state of the state address. And I really thought that given what's happened to our state, that the majority of time should be spent on talking about Sandy, what it's done to our state, and the challenges, the enormous challenges that we have in rebuilding. And so, you know, we'll have plenty of time to talk about a lot of other issues. I didn't talk about my tax cut proposal yesterday. I didn't talk about our plans for a number of other issues uh, on reforming government. You make certain choices, but you know, I don't think the people of New Jersey think they don't hear from me enough. Um, they hear from me on these issues. But on that issue, what do you think should happen right now? Of course, the president, we're waiting to hear from Vice President Biden's task force next week. We saw Gabby Giffords come out yesterday leading a national effort to prevent gun violence. You've said you've raised questions about the idea from the NRA about having an armed guard in every school. But what do you think should happen right now in the wake of this tragedy in Newtown? Well, I think we have to talk about all the, all the aspects of why we're seeing this kind of outbreak of violence in our society. Sure that we have to talk about gun control as part of that. New Jersey has the second toughest gun control laws in America behind the state of New York. We also have to talk about... Assault weapons ban. Should the whole country have one? Well, we have one here. Listen, I think that that's got to be part of the entire conversation. But if you stop there, George, you're shortchanging the problem. This young man in Connecticut was obviously mentally ill. Why wasn't he getting treatment? Everyone's going to be watching you closely over the next four years, as you know. Uh, so what are the prospects of a Chris Christie, Hillary Clinton presidential race in 2016? You know, as th they're as good as the prospects of anybody else against anybody else. You know, anybody who tries to plan four years from now, George, you know, is, is crazy. I think uh, the fact of the matter is I'm going to follow the advice my mother gave me, which is to do the job that you have right now as well as you can do it, and your future will take care of itself. And I'm running for four more years as governor of New Jersey because I want to serve for four more years as governor of New Jersey. And uh, but you know, if the call comes in 2016, you'll be ready? Uh, listen, I will be more ready than I was in 2012 because I will have done my job for longer and hopefully gotten better. But again, that'll be a decision you know me and Mary Pat will make um, if and when the time comes. But what I want to do now is be the governor of New Jersey. As I said, for the last three years, I'd like to do it for the next four. Thanks for coming in this morning. Happy to be here, George. Thanks.